Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. What I'm about to say, I literally never thought anyone would ever hear me say. What I'm about to show you is my full coverage, full coverage foundation routine. If you know me at all, you will know that I have never really been a fan of full coverage foundation. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way to anyone whatsoever because I'm a huge believer in you do you girl, like whatever works for you, you do it. For me, I've never been a fan of them because I just feel like they cover skin texture too much and I love to see natural skin and natural beauty shine through a makeup. I love dewy skin, I love really natural, just glowing, gorgeous skin. I've never been one for covering things too much. I've kind of always just liked enhancing what people naturally have and full coverage foundations are just like the opposite usually of what I look for in a foundation. So even when I had the worst skin as a teenager, I would still only wear, I mean, I probably didn't even wear that much foundation back then, but I would only wear light coverage products and then I would just use concealers to touch up wherever it was necessary, <laughs> which in that stage of my life is definitely a lot of places and a lot of touching up. So after many trials and a lot of errors, I finally found a full coverage foundation, which I love. And because I'm such a huge fan of dewy illuminated skin, I've still kept the skin looking that way, as you can probably see. I guess I should call this my full coverage, dewy, glowy foundation routine. So I'm definitely going to shut up now. That was way too much talking for an intro. But if you'd like to see my dewy, glowy, full coverage foundation routine, then please keep on watching. First of all, you want to pick a primer that works for you and for your skin type. I promise this video is not sponsored by Hourglass, but I am obsessed with the Hourglass primers. The one I've been really loving with this particular foundation is the Ambient Luminous Light Light Correcting Primer. And I just love this because it gives a really nice dewy glow to the base before you even start foundation. But if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I also love the Mineral Veil Primer and the Number 28 Primer Serum. If you have oily skin, I'd probably recommend the Veil Mineral Primer because it makes your makeup last all day long. It's crazy in the hold factor. And if you have particularly dry skin or love super dewy, glowy skin, which I do, so I do get a lot of use out of this, um, I would then recommend the number 28 Primer Serum. So today I'm using the Luminous Light Primer and I'm just going to pop some of that onto my Zoeva um, 103 Defined Buffer Brush and I'm just going to put that all over my face. My skin is actually quite normal, it doesn't really do anything much, occasionally it gets a little bit dry, so I'm not really looking to um, correct anything with a primer. I'm kind of more giving my skin the texture that I want. But also if you have, um, you know, anything that you'd like to correct with a primer, then use a primer that suits you. But I just love that this adds a little bit of that glow before the foundation goes on. And it's buffing into my skin real good. Hopefully you can see now that there's a little bit of a glow there. Now for the fun part, this is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I have three different shades here, so if you like, you can just apply one all over your face. Um, but I'm probably going to do a little bit of the uh, highlighting, maybe not contouring. I don't know if it's dark enough for a contour, but I'm definitely going to use a lighter shade for a little bit of a highlight. So we're going to start with the shade Buff. I haven't put as much on my forehead because I don't need as much coverage there. And I mean, my skin is a bit out of control on my chin at the moment, so that's probably going to need to be fixed with concealer. Now I'm just going to apply the shade Bisque underneath my eyes. Just a little. And around here, touch on the chin, touch on the forehead. Just a little bit. I'm sure you guys probably know by now that I'm definitely a brush girl. Ooh. An eyelash on my brush. But I'm going to show you one side using my buffing brush and the other side using my damp beauty blender just so you guys can see the difference and just so you can see that really you can use both, it's totally up to you. And then I just start buffing it in.
As you can see, that's pretty quick to buff most of that in. I'm just gonna start doing the other side now. I think I just use brushes because I find them a lot quicker than beauty blenders, but I also quite like the effect of a beauty blender. I definitely feel like the motion of using a brush is also a lot quicker than a beauty blender. There's less effort involved, less dabbing motion. I mean, that's definitely lazy me speaking. So here it is. I would say that this is a light application of the Vanish Foundation. I think you could definitely go a lot heavier if you wanted to, but this is already quite full coverage for me. So even without concealer, I think you can see quite a noticeable difference. Even with my blemishes down here, it's covered the redness pretty well. Whereas if I was using my normal buildable, light buildable coverage foundations, I would definitely need concealer on that baby straight away because it would still show through quite a lot. So I guess the issue I've always had with full coverage foundations is that they look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. And while I totally respect artists and people that wear that kind of makeup, I think it can look so beautiful. And some of my favorite makeup artists and even some of my favorite YouTubers all wear full coverage makeup and I think they look stunning. But then when I look at myself with that amount of makeup on, I just don't feel like me. It's, it's really odd. I think maybe it's because I've always been really used to not wearing that much makeup. And even as a makeup artist, I kind of tend to enhance natural beauty. I don't try to change it a lot and I definitely don't try to cover everything. So this is why I've always been a bit scared to use them and just not a real not a real fan of them in general. I actually genuinely really really love it and it wears really well and yeah I just feel like myself still which is really nice. So there it is and this is why it's my new um, favorite full coverage foundation because it just blends in so well and my skin doesn't look crazy mattified or super powdery, which is what I've always really associated these kind of products with. Particularly for a stick foundation, I think that's so amazing and it blends so easily. Now onto concealer and I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and this is the Illumination. Not sure if these are out yet, but if they're not, they'll definitely be out in Sephora pretty soon, I would say. I'm going to use the shade Medium on my pimple. Yep definitely too much but we can work with that and the shade light underneath my eyes and I'm just blending this in with my Zoeva concealer buffer brush number 142 I've always been a really big fan of the it cosmetics bye bye under eye range it is so amazing these new products I'm really loving because they just add that tiny bit of illumination which is amazing for underneath your eyes Oh, maybe I'll blend this side in with my beauty blender. Keeping the theme of it. For the Bye Bye Under Eye, I would actually say that the beauty blender does blend it out just that little bit better than what the buffing brush does. But in general, I use this buffing brush all the time. And I use it all the time with my other um, liquid concealers like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I use it all the time with those and it works so well. Now to add some serious glow back into the skin and I'm going to use a liquid illuminator. These are two of my favorites here. This is the Josie Moran Argan Illuminizer and this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and the shade I have here is Opal. I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector today just because I feel like I haven't used it enough recently. And I'm just going to pop that on the top of my cheekbones just above my brow bone and just under my brow bone. And that just adds a really nice glow to skin. So this would be my full coverage foundation routine with a little bit of glow to it. I'm now going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I will zoom in for you so you can see it up close in detail. This is way too close for my liking. As you can see, it blends really well, I think. I think both sides look equally as well blended, even though I use two different blending tools. I don't feel like it covers my skin to the point where I can't see my natural kind of skin texture through it, if that makes sense. I don't feel like I'm wearing a mask. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you back out now. This is way too close for me. So that is my dewy, glowy, full coverage foundation routine. I hope you guys know that I did this for you because I get so many requests and so many questions about full coverage foundations. 
I just knew that I had to find at least one that I loved so that I could share it with you. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to take that hair out of my mouth now and I'll see you really soon in another one.